What are the special features of direct and reversing starters? Hello, my name is Andreas Thomas. I've been working for many years in the field of motor starters and load feeders. Today on our video series on motor starters, I'd like to show you some special features of direct starters and reversing starters. This deals less with special product details than it does with the question of which designs have what special features. For this reason, I've brought along a range of different products from our series portfolio. Firstly, only asynchronous motors can be started using the direct and reversing motor starters in our examples. This immediately brings us to an important special feature of this type. If three-phase motors are started directly, that is, connected directly to the supply voltage, they will draw a multiple of the specified rated current during the run-up. And weak power grids, this can lead to undesired voltage drops, particularly when large motor outputs are involved. Together with the current impulse, a high torque is also output by the motor. This, in turn, can be advantage for high mechanical loads, but can deliver a knockout blow to sensitive mechanical systems. It doesn't matter whether you are dealing with direct starters with one direction of rotation or reversing starters with two directions of rotation. For this load feeder, a second contactor is installed in addition to the contactor for the direct start. It is both mechanically and electrically locked to prevent simultaneous actuation. This prevents an unintentional phase short circuit. In addition, this IEC and UL tested combination is provided with a circuit breaker for short circuit and overload protection. The load feeders are available pre-assembled in different sizes up to 73 amperes of motor current a very rugged solution that is still used in many applications today. Why? The Sirius Load Feeder is an all-around carefree package for both the project engineer and the operator. In the last few years, however, smaller designs have been increasingly finding their way onto the market. This extremely compact unit, for example, the 3RM motor starter, can switch up to 3 kilowatts on or off as a direct starter or reversing starter. This extremely compact unit, for example, the 3RM1 motor starter, can switch up to 3 kilowatts on or off as a direct starter or reversing starter. It has modern hybrid switching technology, that is, semiconductors for switching on and off and relay contacts for operation. The electronic motor protection is already built into the device. This makes it ideally suited for limited space conditions. Another trend is the merging of switching and automation technology. For Somatic ET200SP, the motor starters are an integral part of this distributed I.O. system and should be considered as input and output modules. Parameters are exclusively assigned online. The equally hybrid switching technology is similar to that of the 3RM1 motor starter. Here too, direct or reversing starters are available, but they are somewhat more powerful with five 0.5 kilowatts of output. Another highlight is the self-assembling power bus with permanent wiring. This allows the starter to be replaced in no time. Short circuit and overload protection, together with the detection of the motor current, are part of the standard functional scope. So much for the topic of direct and reversing starters. I'll be showing you the advantages of star delta and soft starters, as well as simple frequency converters, in other videos. I look forward to seeing you all again. Siemens. Ingenuity for life.